What is going on guys, it's Abadrian and welcome back to another YouTube video now guys, it's been a very long time since we've had a pop race in the collection but we finally do and courtesy of our buddy Drifter D we finally have a very very nice model from pop race and today we are gonna take a look at it No, first things first, I want to give a massive shout out to my boy Drifter D for hooking us up with this amazing stay gear from Pop Race. He actually visited, and I don't know if you guys saw, he actually visited um, Macau and Pop Race invited him over and he brought this back for us. So massive shout out to him. Thanks bro once again for hooking us up with this brilliant piece. Now, this is still sealed, right? But he did, he did bring his piece for me to have a look at and boy oh boy did it look amazing. And I thought, I mean... This is definitely worth having in any collection. But stay tuned to the other video and let me know if you guys agree with me as well. Now, I kind of made a slit so it'll be a bit faster for me to remove this. And first, right off the bat, the box by itself is amazingly done. So we've got the stay gear right here. We've got obviously the stay gear right here. And the paint job, you're going to be amazed because she's beautiful. We've got stay gear here. Once again, just in case you forgot what car it was. We've got your, your usual warning labels. That's the gear once again, ages 14 plus because this is a collector's model. Um, so out of six sides, you've got you've got this the gear on four of the sides, except for this part and the back end as well. Um <laughs> doesn't really matter, but it's a very interesting little touch. And if you guys also notice, this is the first day gear I have in the collection. And I'm not going to bore you with any more details. I'm just going to dive right straight. But before that, just check that out. Can you, can you guys already see the monstrosity? And oh my goodness, check that out. What? What? Also, also this might be a factory error. But this piece right here is missing a wing mirror right there, guys. Oh damn, I, I don't know what to say about that, um, but it is missing a wing mirror, you, you guys saw I just opened the seal, the wing mirror is not in the box as well, so I have no idea where, obviously it's no one's fault, I think it's just a little factory error, so no worries at all, plus all my cars face here in this direction when I display them, so as if this side here is completely alright, the hood opens up as well, we're gonna get back to that in a bit. But starting from the right side of the vehicle, boy oh boy is she beautiful. I mean, she is shining under the light right here, guys. And I think she might be shining a bit too much. So let me just try to see if I can. So you guys can see, it, there's number one right there, the Penzoil decal right here. Bridgestone, NGK, and NTN, and we've got a bunch. We've got a race as well right there. White rims, these white six spoke rims are amazing. The wheels spin amazingly well once again, you guys know me. Things like this are what makes models like this pop out from the rest. And obviously, they're called pop race as well. Get it? <laughs> anyways, anyways, very nice. The black accent with the obviously the shiny chrome gold paint job that it, that this has. In the front of the vehicle, obviously, we've got plastic headlight temples. Now, you guys always know something Hot Wheels doesn't do, but pop race has always done it. And it's very nice, very subtle little details, very subtle little touch to it, right? But they, they, they do it, and I don't see why other brands cannot do that as well. Now on the hood, we've got Pencil right there, then Nissan written right here, Nismo written right there, and then obviously on the roof right here, we've got like a carbon fiber finish, and it says 1998 Champion 23. Obviously Pencil in the spoiler right there. But what I want to show you guys is this, the hood right here, and ever so gently, I'm going to remove, open that up and check that out. The details here, Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. I... Wow. It's been a while since I've seen such a nicely done engine bay right there. Let me just try to see if I can get it under the light. Oh, there you go. That's a very, very nice angle. Check that out. The details in the engine bay is amazing. Wow. I'm... I'm Pop Race, massive kudos to you. You guys knocked it out of the park with this specific design right here. I mean, she looks brilliant. She looks very nice. I'm gonna close the hood back on. So on the left side of the vehicle, exactly the same. Obviously, the wheels they spin amazingly well. Pens all written right there. A bunch of decal stickers right here. And on the rear of the vehicle, relatively no details at all, unfortunately. There is a little potenza decal on the top. I don't know if you guys can see. 
and then obviously the exhaust pipe. Now on the bottom, on the base of the car, obviously this is made in China and the Pop Race logo. Now, here's one thing I kind of feel like Pop Race can do, and that is to put a bit of design or details in the base, because I think, or I mean, at least that's, that's for me, right? I like, a I like a car with nice details in the base. I mean, this is a bit too plain for me. Obviously, when it comes to race cars, I know the bases are meant to be plain to kind of protect the car, but I don't think this is a race car, right? I think it's more of a show car. So, I don't know, maybe having some details in the base, that would have been nice. Obviously, the exhaust pipe right there. Oh no, I think it's a brilliant car. Obviously, I'm missing a side mirror right there. Um, A bit unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. It's completely cool. It's completely all right. I have no regrets because boy, oh boy, is she amazing. She is beautiful. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring in more pop races as well. Because looking at the way pop race is going, I think 2024 is going to be pop races year for sure. Now let me know in the comments what you guys think. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do fueling shots. And I'll see you at the end. And just so I guess we've come to the end of the video, I hope you guys had an amazing time. I sure had an amazing time boxing this car. She's gonna go superbly well in my collection. Now, you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but I recently had a video on all my pop races, and these are all my pop races. I don't really have a lot. So these three are from Drift to D. This I got from another guy. This I got in from the Malaysia Diecast Expo when I went with, once again, you guys guessed it, Drift to D. And obviously this car as well, which he helped us get. So, I mean, he's coming in clutch with these models, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this particular casting as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place her right there in between the Vios and the GR Yaris right there. I think she looks brilliant. And I'm going to leave the hood open because I want to ravish that engine. Check that out. She looks brilliant. I'm super excited to have this in my collection. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, we're finally completing our entire slots here. I will be doing an update video on this very soon, kind of like a year and update video. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to click on the, click on the notification icon as well. So you guys can get alerted when I post my next video. But just let it guess this video is over. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.